13. And I'm here with Chris from Switchblade Monkeys. They are working on a game, very fun game actually, called uh, Secret po or Secret Ponchos. And uh, Chris, what what do you do on Secret Ponchos? Uh, I'm the sound designer for Secret Ponchos. I'm in charge of the score and the sound effects. Oh, you know that's good. And, and something about the score is is Secret Ponchos is a spaghetti western. So, did you have any influences that you were looking for, or any games that you kind of lean more towards when you were making the sound, or were you, do you want to do your own little thing? What, what was your thought process on making soundboard? Yeah, obviously I was trying to put my own spin on it, but definitely influenced by the traditional spaghetti, like yeah. all the Sergio Leone, uh, Maricone stuff, um, but trying to make it a little bit different, because um, our environment is not exactly the same as those traditional yeah. sp spaghetti westerns, put a little more modern twist on it. But uh, it's not my it's not my uh, go-to genre in the past, so it was really fun to kind of take myself out of my comfort zone and uh, produce a, an album for this game. What is Secret Ponchos? Secret Ponchos is a top-down combat game. It's uh, based in an arena, and we have different uh, different ways to play. We have uh, free-for-all mode, team uh, two versus two, four versus four, and a lot of different uh, sub modes within those classes. Mm -hmm. So um, it kind of, it, it looks like a, like a MOBA almost, yeah, and, yeah. but it, it plays more like a fighting game in the way that we've set up the round structure and the spacing between the characters and their abilities. It's not just a straight up point and click uh, yeah, interface, yeah. like you have to actually learn the combos to do the moves. And that's what gives the game a little bit of depth in that if you want to get good at it, you can learn all the skills of each character. Yeah, and uh, is there any story mode, or is it all going to be like competitive multiplayer? Each character has a story behind them, but we're not going to do an actual story mode in this version. Okay. Uh, just because our team is so small, yeah. we didn't want to tack on just a cheesy story mode uh, just, to, yeah. just, just for the sake of having one. Yeah. Uh, we've taken a lot of care to design this, this world, and in the future we'd really like to do that, but we want to do it well. Yeah. Yeah. And can you, uh, how many classes are we starting out with? There's going to be six characters okay. at launch, and uh, very shortly after that, we'll have downloadable characters. Oh, perfect. And we're going to do as many downloadable characters as we can, but um, we just need to make sure that we're keeping everybody uh, evenly like uh, yeah. po powered, right? Yeah. So that's why up till this point we've only got six because we're really yeah. focusing on keeping everybody equal. We don't want to have any OP characters yeah. uh, because we love having the chess match element of it where you know all your moves and I know all of my moves even though we're playing a different character. Yeah. There's no, there's, there's nothing you can exploit. Yeah, and, th and that's what's good about it too is in Secret Ponchos, when you have your character they all have their special modes, like they have two different special things, but not only that, you can expand on those two special moves. Like I like, I like a shotgun really close range, but then I also had a little snipe move, but it, it was limited at what I could do with right, it. Right, because it pins you to the ground, so you're yeah. vulnerable while you're using it. Yeah, perfect. And we also noticed that we, we built it just as a free-for-all at the beginning, uh -huh. so we only use the characters individually against each other, but when we started to pair them up, we, we found out that it almost made new classes oh, by yeah. having a certain characters together, because like you said, the one guy can whip someone and hold them while the other yeah. one uses their like stun attack exactly. or something on them. Yeah. And uh, when can we expect to see Secret Ponchos and on what? Uh, we're going to launch our exclusive console release on the PS4. Very That's cool. going to be uh, early in 2014, so okay. Q1 2014. And then uh, we're hoping to generate enough uh, of momentum to pass the green light for Steam okay. and come out on the PC. Because yeah. we've, uh, whenever we show it at PAX, we get a lot of people asking if it's yeah. going to be out on PC. So uh, again, small team. We're focusing on the on the console release, yeah. and then as soon as that's done, we'll get it working on the keyboard yeah. and mouse. Well, it, I'm I'm definitely excited. I think you'll have no problem getting a green lit. I mean, the game looks great. The game obviously sounds great, and uh, I could see it becoming extremely competitive. Something that you can almost see on like the professional circuit because right. it's almost it's almost so basic, but then it has so much to it that you could easily make like be really strategic with it. Yeah, we spent a lot of time just working on the actual mechanics yeah. and then applying all this to it. We didn't want to just make the Spaghetti Western theme and yeah. just tack a game onto it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Chris, thank you very much. Chris from Switchblade Monkeys and the Secret Ponchos. Thanks again.